I want to share what I just learned from the bright mutas from IBM Poland about time series and threshold rules. For this example, our mission would be to create a rule that is going to fire when the number of firewall allowed passes the name, the number 250. So we're going to be creating a time series search that is going to be taking accumulators, the value of all the firewall allows that happened on the first minute, which is around 100 and what, 130 here, and, and, and on the next minute and the next minute, and keep only the value of the accumulated number of, or actually the event count that happened. And, and then when, when that one reaches above 250, which is in this particular case at this particular time, then we are going to be using that fact in order to fire an offense. The value, the accumulated value of all these events is, is kept in a database called the Global View Database, which get accessed by the RESTful API using AQL, and there will be a subsequent video that shows that. But for now, we're going to start by creating a time series search that capture, that accumulate all those values over time. Let's do it. To create a time series search, we start like we normally do. Click a new search. Let's say the last five minutes in here on the interval. And we're going to be grouping these by uh, event name. So we need to get it out of the columns here. And by destination IP. So we get that out of here. And we're going to add them event name and the group by and destination IP which is here, over here. And that's going to enable us to click on the part that will, will customize this and declare it a time series value. The log source that we're going to take is obviously the the one from the that we are collecting from the firewalls. And uh, that one is log source, not source IP, sorry. Log source index this Cisco firewall that we have already replaying here, so has, it has been auto discover. Now we click here on search, and that uh, enables us to see this icon in here, which we need to click on this gear, and then we're going to select the event count sum, the sum of all the events, and we are going to declare this a time series. The key part is in here to click on this capture uh, time series data, and we are going to save it. We're going to give it a name, uh, firewall allow count, let's say, give that, that name. We're going to include it in the quick searches. Let me correct that typo. And um, that's basically it. So we click OK. And now we're going to go back to that. We can even go ahead into the quick searches and select it. It should be here under the F. Firewall allowed count, right? So we click here or we have it in the back. The important thing for you to know that this has worked. And we see I was playing some events in here uh, testing this. But it, it's really to see this asterisk in here. That really tells you that you are really capturing time series data. You can also see that by going into the admin tab. And there is a place Curator actually uses this time series data for other things internally to this icon here, aggregated data management. And then we need to pivot here on their time series. And then we sort by last modified time. And we see it here. Firewall allow count, right? Very good. So we have our series. Now, to play event into this uh, 
uh, search, we're going to use a, a Python script that Mutas also wrote called script. And basically what he did in here is this uh, firewall event, you see the build TCP API, all these uh, uh, single file firewall allowed, he's going to be playing it into this loop on a log run that we have used in other videos to replay logs and he's going to be using the value from this list. So the first value is going to be 120, 112, so on and so forth. There's going to become a point where he uh, sends 300 of those events and that passes the 250 threshold that on the rule that we will create later and that rule should fire. So let's actually play this, uh, this uh, script. And it's going to start, you know, playing the event. So let's go back to the log activity and we can see those events uh, the standard way. Let's actually put the filter of the log source my DSA and actually um, let's play that for the last uh, five minutes or so and we should see the first uh, barrage and here they are we can actually start testing our uh, our uh, firewood allow count series and see that we have already began to collect here are the first uh, number of event 120 the next one is uh, 112 and, and we're going to let this actually do the counting and I'm going to pause the video and get back. Just to save a little bit of time I'm showing you here uh, what, uh, my previous test that I was doing and notice that I was getting all those event counts being some and this is the point where it reached the 300. So and we have I uh, with the new search that I created uh, here in the video we are collecting the same number of uh, events uh, again. So, so while this run, let's uh, create the actual offense itself. So from the same log that we are actually executing, we go here into actions, uh, actually on the rules, and we're going to create a threshold rule. And that gives us Uh, threshold rules and we have already the property that we need so which is the accumulated property that we are working with is actually event count so that's what we need to the sum of event counts we select that and when we say that is greater than lower than we're going to leave it greater than and we're going to put here 250 and we submit that over one minute interval that's precisely what we're doing that's what we are playing actually on the on the python script oh we need to give the, this a name so i'm going to call this uh, too many firewall allowed so we click next. There's nothing we need to modify on this second thing page, but uh, I just want to show you that you know by default you dispatch a new event, uh, and we are not going to be taking any any action. But we could do as we normally do with uh, all the actual rules. So we're going to click here finished, and probably even when by the time that the next uh, count gets to uh, 300 passing the 250 limit that we have, we should have an offense firing. And there you have it. You have the actual uh, offense firing. And if we go back to the lock, we see when we are monitoring that we actually detected when we passed that 250 threshold. 